Good morning, everyone. I am up here in the Hiawintas, uh, headed up a new trail that's going to be actually a popular trail. Some of you may recognize the area. I'm going back about 10 miles. A mile of that's going to be off a trail to a lake that's known to have big fish. So if I don't make it that far, there's plenty of stops along the way, but we'll just kind of see how I feel. So I'm going to hit the trail. All right, guys, so I'm about three and a half miles back. I talked to, uh, like I mentioned earlier, a couple guys who are on their way out who tipped me off on a, a fishing hole that's putting out big brook trout. Um, the original lake I was going to is about 10 miles back and a mile off the trail. And uh, it's a lake that I've been to before. And uh, I've decided to go to this new lake that I haven't been to before and chase the big brook trout. I looked at the map, and there is a couple other lakes in the area that are off the trail a little ways, so I should have a lot of fun exploring and a new area to see. And another thing that helped me make my decision is the lake that I was going to originally is the same area that I'm going to be in uh, two or three weeks from now. So, going to see a new area after the big brook trout. Look how beautiful this is behind me, guys. Uh, I've already seen a beaver swimming around in here and some fish jumping. Uh, so this is awesome, super psyched on this place. I'm still going down further this way, but just incredible. Nobody down here. Uh, I'm about 20, 30 minutes away from the very, very popular trail. And uh, ever since I left that popular trail, I haven't seen or heard anybody. So looking forward to having a good time. All right, guys, so there is not a lot of camping around this lake, which is a good thing. That means not a lot of people come here. I have found a spot with an established uh, burn ring and I'm gonna make this meadow area my home for a couple days. I'm in a hurry to get my tent set up. It's thundering and I'm pretty sure a storm is gonna be coming in any minute, so I'd like to have some shelter. So we're gonna set up. I got my tent set up just in time. It just started to rain and I got it set up pretty loosely, but I'm protected. So I got my bag and my vestibule over here and I'm gonna start getting it opened up and getting kind of my, my tent set up and I imagine this storm will blow over pretty quick so I can get out and start exploring. Yeah, buddy. All right, so I am out of my tent. The rain stopped, blue skies came out. It feels great. Awesome little meadow here I'm camped in. And I have all this behind me, uh, which will get explored pretty thoroughly. There's another small pond out of view over a hill back here that I'm gonna check out later today. So I've got some water in a pot heating up so I can have a cup of coffee. Then I'm going to get some fishing gear set up and uh, hit the water. <laughs> wow. You guys, this is just so incredible. It is beautiful. I have seen a lot of fish activity, more so over there. But there's fish all over. So I'm going to get a line in the water and see if we can't catch one. Oh! <laughs> First cast, Mr. Stride. All right, so I missed two strikes. Uh, I was at that spot for about 20 minutes, which is the one right by my camp. Uh, I'm gonna hike over to the west side of the lake and kind of see what happens over there. We'll go from there. Beautiful view from the ridge above camp. So it's about 4.30, I just took a little day hike. This is about 30 minutes up the mountain from where I'm camped. And there's a little pond just tucked up here. Really pretty, I can hear a lot of frogs. Don't know if there's any fish in here or not. I don't see any activity, but uh, I don't have a lot of time. I need to work my way back down to camp and get things ready for tonight. All right guys, so I made it back to my camp for my hike and uh, fishing. I haven't caught any fish today. I've seen a lot of activity and I've had three strikes that I just couldn't get a hook set. So I'm gonna take a break, hydrate myself, process some firewood and then uh, Probably hit the water for another hour or two before dark, so really pretty up here, nice and peaceful.
go. Little brook trout. All right guys, so caught a little brook trout, that was awesome, but there's a lot more in there and there's some bigger ones because I've seen them. But my leader is getting really small. Um, we're probably talking four feet when this thing should be nine feet. So I'm gonna get this off, tie a new one on, get a new streamer on. I got my sandals on and I think I'm gonna unzip my pants into shorts and maybe walk out there, you know, an extra 10 or 15 feet. See if that helps. If not, it'll feel good, so. Having fun. Going after some more fish. So it's a quarter after eight. I'm a little cold because I've been standing in the water for a couple hours now fishing, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Catch rate did pick up. Uh, between about seven o'clock to eight o'clock, I was catching a fish every three to four casts. Brook trout between eight to 12 inches. They all went back in the water. I didn't keep anything, but I had a bunch of fun. So I'm super psyched about that. I'm a little chilly, so I'm gonna get a fire going, dinner cooked, and I'm gonna call it a night pretty early tonight because I'm tired. It's been a long day between all the fishing, hiking, walking. I'm tired, guys, so we'll see you in a minute. Good night. Good morning. It is a quarter after eight. I woke up at about seven. Uh, I had to stay in my tent for about an hour till about eight o'clock because of a rainstorm. So I waited that out inside my tent, but I just got a cup of coffee cooked. I'm gonna drink that. And I've uh, got two or three different lakes that are off the trail that I'm gonna visit today. I'm gonna take my fishing pole, hopefully have a lot of fun. And I've got my map and compass here and uh, it's been a while since I've practiced navigating with map and compass, so I've got a, a bearing set, and uh, we're gonna see if I can find my way there with just using this. All right, guys, so I'm on the very uh, south side of the lake that I'm camped at, and uh, this is where I kind of leave the area that I've got to know over the last day, and I'm gonna get a bearing and start heading that way. Perfect. I don't know if you can see that right there, but when the red is in the little shed there, that's pointing me that way. I'm gonna give it about 10 or 15 minutes and then double check, and if I need to pull out my map for reference, I'll do that. But wow, it is just pretty out here this morning. I love this. All right, so I'm gonna check a bearing. This will be the second time I've stopped to check to make sure I'm on course. Perfect. I'm still pretty confident uh, I'm heading straight to the lake, so 
we'll see. I think I should be able to start seeing it in 10 or 15 more minutes. Been going for about 35, uh, 40 minutes now. And I think I'm really close to the lake. I put my map in my bag and I've just been following the bearing that I took from camp. Uh, I should be right on top of that lake and it should come into view any minute. Check it out, guys. Down through the trees, there is the lake that I'm looking for. There's another one uh, about a quarter mile behind it and another one about a half a mile after that. So we're going to start at that one and go from there. You guys, look at this beautiful lake. Wow. This place is insane. It took longer to scramble down the 50 yard hill to get to the lake than it did to walk here, but fish jumping everywhere. Um, the tree line's pretty much right at the lake, so it's gonna be pretty hard to cast with my fly line uh, to get out there anyways, but I'm gonna walk around a bit and see what I can find and uh, ho hopefully find a good spot to get a line in the water. All right, guys, uh, fishing has been good. It's been raining for about an hour, so I had to cover up the camera, but uh, I pulled a few fish, little brook trout, 10, 12 inches. I'm gonna give it one last little go, but I've probably fished my little hole out, but we'll see if we can't get another before uh, heading back the other direction. Uh, I think I fished my little hole out, but had a lot of fun, uh, saw a new lake. There's another lake uh, just down the ways that is uh, full of fish too, just small. Everything up here that I caught was 8, 10, uh, maybe the biggest being around 12 inches, but uh, action was good there for a minute and then, you know, it stopped. So I'm going to kind of have a little snack, hydrate, and work my way back to my camp. We'll probably have some lunch, and then there's another little pond uh, right by camp that I'd like to try and fish too. So we're gonna head that way. And now for the fun part, I get a scramble up all this. I had a good walk back to camp. Uh, it's been raining off and on. Well, mostly on. Been raining all day. Fishing's been, been okay, it's been good. Caught a few fish, so that's cool, but I'm in my tent now. I'm going to read a book or maybe even watch a movie and just let this storm pass. Uh, when it lets up, I've got a couple more places that I want to go see before the day is over. So I'm going to relax for a bit. All right, it finally stopped raining. It rained for about two hours. Uh, I just hung out in my tent and uh, I read a book. Well, I read about 30 more pages of my book and took a little nap for 15 or so minutes, but uh, I'm on my way to another pond that I want to try fishing that I passed on the way in here, and there's some more spots around the lake that I'm camped at that I want to try. So we're gonna go hit the water again and uh, definitely bring in the rain gear. All right, so this little stream is the outlet of the lake that I'm camped at, and I'm gonna follow it down where it dumps out into a pond uh, about 100 yards that way. I'm gonna see if there's any fish in there. really pretty. You can kind of see the pond down there in the meadow. All right guys, so good news is this is uh, one, extremely pretty and I've already seen fish activity. So I don't know what I'm going to tie on. I'm going to try something new, whether at a dry fly or a streamer, but uh, we're going to hit the water. Okay guys, now I'm really excited. This is the little channel, the inlet to the pond and I just went to step over it and scared three or four uh, good sized fish. They were at least probably between the 14 and 16 inch range and they are all over in here. Super excited. All right, guys, so I fished this pond for probably about an hour, maybe even a little longer, and I'm very surprised I didn't catch anything, uh, nor did I get a strike. I did see a lot of fish, and I saw some really good-sized fish. They're big in here, so 
I didn't bring water and I'm getting thirsty, so I'm gonna get walking back to camp. I may come back down here in an hour or two though. We'll see. Whew, I'm getting close to camp now. I have gotta get these shoes off and put my sandals on. It's about impossible to keep your feet dry in trail runners. I still love them though. Yep, that is not rain. Hell, messing up my evening fishing. Overall, it's been a really wet day. A lot of rain, and now this, so. <laughs> I love it. Well, that was an intense hour. It rained, heavy wind, hail, lightning, thunder. I saw it all. It was pretty cool, pretty wild. Having a good time regardless. See you guys in the morning. Good morning. It is uh, six o'clock in the morning. I'm just kind of getting up and moving. Got a little fire going to dry out some socks. Gonna cook some coffee and pack up and hike out of here. Uh, pretty early so had a good night a long night in the tent got in there around eight o'clock last night so had a good trip and we'll be back at it soon so I am all packed up it's always hard to leave this has been such a pretty peaceful area but uh, I'm built for speed on the way home I've got my tripod strapped for my pack and I'm gonna use this new uh, capture clip to hold my camera I haven't used this yet since I got the camera and I want to try it out so Probably not going to be doing too much filming on the way out of here, but we'll see you soon.